So I get out the shower and I, I'm, I have my knife open in my hand and one of the guys is like, what is that? I said a pocket knife. Is that your breast a knife? Yep. Your breast sure knife that you showed me? And uh, that, That's pretty cool. And what's his name? He said, what, what is that? I said, it's a little pocket knife. I said, I found it when we first got out here on the streets. I picked it up and put it in my boob. So now it's my boob knife. And the, the <laughs> little black guy, the little, uh, your little black Michael? guy. Your uh, Michael? It's your boob knife. <laughs> It is. Oh, okay. And the little, um... You're killing me, man. Good morning, everybody. It's about 10.30. Uh, Monday morning. Uh, I'm in the process of going to pick up a couple friends. Um, I just helped them move into a new place, Mark and Faye. And, uh, she emailed me last night and wanted to know if I could pick her up earlier this morning, but I just couldn't earlier because I uh, had an appointment at 9.15. Anyways, that's taken care of, and I've tried to email her back, but I'm just gonna go to their place because she wants to, she needs to take a shower and do their laundry because at the Provident, or I'm sorry, at the Greater Works location, they can shower and do laundry, and plus, I'd be able to pick them up and uh, by the time they get situated and start doing their laundry and everything and shower, it'll be lunchtime. So they can also eat. So I figured it's a win-win. All right, let's see what happens. Okay, so if you want to go to storage, they're bringing you over to, you say it's right by Greater Works? Yeah, I can walk. Greater Works. Okay. What do you think, Mark? How's the adjustment going on here? Good. Not too bad? Yeah, not too bad. Clean the place up. It's getting, it's getting cleaned up. Well, you know, one of my viewers suggested, you know, well, obviously, he had said that his chainsaws got ripped off and some of his, you know, a lot of his tools. But, you know, burning all the additional garbage, etc., etc., just getting it, you know, more presentable. They also mentioned maybe some painting. Yeah. And being that falls on its way, you know, raking leaves and getting those bagged up. You know, just miscellaneous stuff goes a long way. Especially if you just start doing it versus being asked. You know. Yeah, well, I've been helping in the... In the uh... When can you move from here into that other place? I have no idea. It's getting fixed up, though. We had a couple of other things doing. that plumbing to do. The place, the, uh, the other place, that place right here is the, you got, uh, the plumbing to do, other things to do, other stuff to do in there. And this place is getting a little fixed up a little bit too. Okay, so if you want to go to storage, I'm bringing you over to, you said it's right by Greater Works? Yeah, I can walk. I'm going to Greater Works. Okay. Do you know where my keys are? But you know, burning all the additional garbage, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, just getting it, you know, more presentable. They also mentioned maybe some painting. Yeah. And being that falls on its way, you know, raking leaves and getting those bagged up. You know, just miscellaneous stuff goes a long way. Especially if you just start doing it versus being asked. You know. Yeah, well, I've been helping you in the. Uh... When can you move from here into that other place? I have no idea. It's getting picked up though. We had a couple of other things doing. That plumbing to do. And the place, the, uh, the other place, that place right here, that you got uh, the plumbing to do. A couple other things to do, other uh, stuff to do in there. And this place is getting a little fixed up a little bit too. Kind of back, jumping back and forth here. But, that but you got water in here. No. Where's the water at? Um. Did you find any? What? He didn't look. Do you do you know it? I haven't had them since early yesterday afternoon. I can't find the keys. That's the I seen them up, up, up there, upstairs. Well, can you get out and go look? Cause I can't find them, and without them, we can't get in storage either. 
Mark seems to be, as though he seems to be sounding defeated. No, it's, we're tired. He, we stayed up, he stayed up helping him trying to fix that over there. He didn't come over here trying to put a door in over here. That very well could solve the, the entire problem. Yeah. You know, I mean, being that he's tired, you know, makes, yeah. that, makes sense. Two, three o'clock in the morning. We're not used to that. We're used to get, getting up at crack of dawn and going to bed yeah. at sunset. Yeah, because you, you got to get in line and, you know. <coughs> so you weren't able to see your kids today. Nope. Hey. I ain't even heard from them. What if we get, when you, can you get your car towed here? As soon as I get the money to have it towed. How much is it? Uh, like $65, $75. What if we just towed it with, I got a pickup truck. What if we towed it with a car dolly or, or a tow a rope? No, I don't have a dolly, but. I know where one's at. We might be able to ha get access to, which I have to let me uh, work on that later this afternoon. Where is the car? At uh, Abutment Road. But what's the name of the place that it's at? It's just a little house. So it's on someone's property? Yeah. Okay, not out of business. Find them? Yes. Good. They were in the bucket that they wouldn't want to put in, but okay. And how place. far how far from here in miles is your vehicle? Uh five miles? Nah, but three No further than Greater Works. Okay. So I can walk the railroad tracks and get to it from Greater Works. Okay, but the car can't go the railroad tracks. Well no, I, I don't I don't know. Like um, you know where the shell is? How there where all the businesses is? But, um, I don't know the name of that road. That narrows it up. Just, no, that's fine. I mean, so it's in town. <laughs> mm -hmm. Alright, that's all I need to know. Yeah, we can easily tow it. You know, I got a truck. I don't know, I don't know what they've done to it or anything. See, when was the last time you physically saw the vehicle? Uh, like a month ago. A month and a half ago. Okay. I know it's still there. Everybody in town knows it's still there. Okay. And the parts are in the car. Is it locked? Do you have the keys? They have the key. But I have the um, push button thing in my purse. Do you have the title? No. It's in my name. All the paperwork's there. Yeah, it's all in the glove box. Okay. Well, on the good side of things, when we go to Greater Works, uh -huh. you can, at the very least, ask them if it's too late to shower and whatnot because there might they might not have anybody there because lunch is in 40 minutes you guys would be able to get a nice lunch well i don't know how nice they are but oh uh, greater works food's awesome some people say they're great and some people don't like them so you know it depends on who you ask but i'm just throwing that out there because you're going to be there anyway <laughs> and i got i'll run my errands i wanted to see is your wagon here at storage no I don't have a wagon no more. You Other said you guys had it it's, stashed. It's at the campground still. We can go get it though. You found some wheels, didn't you? No. I mean, the wheels are simple. They're right here at Harbor Freight. You know, that's it's just a matter of changing them. You said you desperately need one. Mm -hmm. The wagon, that is. Yeah. And instead of getting a brand new one, if all you need is a wheel, why spend 50 bucks when you could spend five? Yeah, the, the, both back wheels. Okay, then buy, go ahead and buy all four, four for 20 them, yeah. instead of 50 for a new one. Yeah, no, I, I. that's why we just left it sitting where it's sitting. And well, there's no guarantee then at all that it's going to be good. <coughs> yeah, it's the guy that I gave our tent to. I told him that was it, to keep my, my wagon. Josh? No, it's some, some new people that were out there. Okay. Well, at the very least, we're gonna check over here at the at the Greater Works and you know get get your deal set up and uh, go from there. Yeah. I charge my phone to at least have lunch. I can't. I'm gonna have to repeat myself again. Charge the battery. And if you're not physically charging it with a cable, leave it outside in the sunlight. It's solar power. That's the whole idea. You can charge it for free with no power. We did uh, leave it in the sun yesterday, but I don't think it got left out there long enough. 
well, we've been just it, so busy it, it's going to take a lot longer, obviously. <coughs> it takes a full, you know, about three hours. When you're off, I'll explain to you what's really going on because somebody come up there and it has to be spotless by a certain date. We didn't know none of this. Well, if you're talking about having that place, it's, he already said it's not going to be approved from DFS or anything to get your kids. This is I th this is stepping stone to get into the bigger right, place, right? Right. And that's where uh, you know Mark's working and Bustle's ball. I don't want him to lose what he's got because that that one trailer it's spotless compared to what it was. Great. Uh, it, it does need some floorings and some panel input up, but I think with a little TLC, um, it could be it, it could be worked, but. It's the yard that the city is on. It's the extra stuff. Well, if it's sense? the yard, that's easily fixable. Right, that's all Mark's been doing all Okay, well, days. keep on it. That way you can get your kids. That's, I mean, that's what we're working on. We, we, believe me. No, I, no, I totally get it. You know, that's, <laughs> that was your 100%, 1,000% goal. I would not get to see the kids. And yeah. I go to court in, a, in two weeks, so. All right. Well, by then you'll have a better idea as to the exact time, if not then, that that place will be ready for you guys to uh, transition into with, you know, functional electricity and the whole nine yards. I'm still going to call, start calling around looking for, you know, something else. And he knows this, you know, it's not, it's not like yeah, well, Charlie they, don't know my kids. Charlie's not. They used to, he used to hang out at my uncle's all the time. And my kids would go and stay at my uncle's. You know, he knows all of them. He was sitting down one day playing matchbox cards with Leland. I see, everyone else just wants to use it. It's a sad situation over there, kind of. I'll tell you what. Here's another thing. <laughs> You guys can go to Greater Works, check on that, and then come back here, get a carryout lunch after you have lunch here. No, they won't give you carryout no more. There's no more carryout? Mm -hmm. All I got to do is talk to ones over here. I can get food. Well. Without a problem. You know, those monsters are pretty pricey, and so is a, a, a legitimate six-pack of the Dr. Pepper that I saw. Them aren't even mine. Them are... I, I guess he took him out of all I've been buying all the food but I don't I don't care to feed Charlie you know like well it's not your responsibility no but I have a roof over my head too yeah no yeah. I get it and he's yeah. not really charging us a whole lot well he said he'd go a month without any that's why Mark has been doing that's why Mark's so tired you know no, it's, hey, it's scratch my back, I'll scratch yours. Mm -hmm. you know, the bartering system's been around since the start of time. Mm -hmm. All right. Why don't I stop right here in front, and you can run in and check out. See if they're going to let me take a shower. Yeah, just, you know. I can probably talk to the guy. Or at least, get, at least get updates on times and, you know, what's the best um, time. You know. About what time are you going to be done um, when I get my phone turned on, you go do what you got to do. When you, when I'm gonna go in here. I can get, I can get a shower. Um, Did you want to do that and then get some law? Uh, that's you know, what I'm saying. I'll eat stay while here, you're here. Lunch, and then as soon as lunch is over, I'll okay. shoot towards storage. Storage is on Taylor Street. It's Taylor um, Storage. Well, I'll text you. I'll text you the address. You don't have my phone number. I do have your phone number. You emailed it to me. Right, but if you can't check your email to get the phone number, I will be able to in ten minutes. Okay. Uh, All right, sounds good. Then I'll uh, just. What do you What do you think? Hour? I went and took a shower and I come out with my knife open so I can clean it right. And you were able to take a shower? Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Good for you. I look. I walked in. I said, "Where's the list?" He says, "It's closed." I said, I, "I'm on my way to the shower." He said there's someone in there, but as soon as they get out, you can go take a shower. No, he, he normally, he tries. The one that does it now, the showers and stuff, he tries so hard to make sure 
all of us get a shower and we get what we need and all right so we're going to storage we're going to storage yes which way uh let's go through town i guess uh, probably. hey so i get out the shower and I, I'm, I have my knife open in my hand and one of the guys is like what is that i said a pocket knife is that your breast a knife yep your breast sure knife that you showed me and uh, that's, that's pretty cool and what's his name? He said, what, what is that? I said, it's a little pocket knife. I said, I found it when we first got out here on the streets. I picked it up and put it in my boob. So now it's my boob knife. And the, the little black guy, the little, uh, your little black Michael, guy. Michael? Uh, it's your boob knife. It is. Oh, okay. And the little, um. You're killing me, man. The little guy that walks around, the black guy that walks around with the little walker. I don't know Michael. his name. I don't know if it's named. I don't know his name. But anyway. If it's the same guy, it's Michael. He says, I want one of them. Can I see it? And I, I handed it to him. You know, I just had wiped it off and sanitized it. So I handed it to him. He goes, uh, you got some more of them? I said, no. I said, but I did find out where to get them. So I'm going to order some. I think I have $10 on a credit. I'm going to just order them. Well, I I'm going to, I'm going to reapply this information I told you a couple days ago. Mm -hmm. Is that I have... A credit that I can order online for you to get just miscellaneous items okay but it's got to be from like Amazon a department store Walmart whatever okay but I can't just walk in because it's on paper yeah it has to be an <laughs> online purchase okay and what I mean well you know what it means but what I'm getting at is you yeah. need a way to cook yeah can you is it is there why can't you guys just get firewood and stuff with that big ass tree that's broke down in the yard and make a grill out of that fire pit where you can grill hot dogs and hamburgers and that's what we were just talking about i'm gonna call today when i get back out there and find out what it's gonna be to turn the power on um but the power is the camera the, running yeah okay i'll tell you well, well, no, you can tell me. It's, I mean, it's not like a big um, secret. There's some know. kind of issue with the power and that trailer. The so. power can't be turned on where you're staying now. He's talking about getting a, an, a, having an exterior generator to power the building. But, yeah, all right, buy the generator, buy the gas. Yeah, you know. no, that's too much. Yeah, well, that's what I'm getting at. Unless we can buy a little, like, electric one, but that's going to be expensive. If it's an electric one, where are you going to get the electricity? Exactly. That's true. Well, that's my point. I'll need some batteries. Yeah, I got to get some batteries. And I can make some. And yeah, we ain't going to be there that long. Batteries for what? Uh, my little fan thing. I have a little miniature fan. Um, well, I just need like four car batteries. I can make it like a constant kind of dinner. Yeah, but then so you So all you need is four car batteries. But you still got to be able to power them every so many days. If, if we cannot get the power turned on this week, then we'll go our our route, but our, our route B, plan B, whatever you want to call it today. I thought you were going to get into the other location, which is the one that needs the power box. Right. That, that's what I'm saying. If it doesn't, by the end of the week, if I don't see enough of improvement where we'll be able to move, transfer over, then I got to go find plan B because I have babies at stake. Right. Does that, that make sense, right? Yeah, but the babies will still be at stake whether they get power or not. And whether you are you have comfort of shelter and et cetera, et cetera, is living in the woods a better option? No, 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 no. I'm just saying, plan B, would I would have to go out looking for something else. Well, yeah, you're doing that I now. I got to do that anyway, right. Well, yeah, that was your first order of business was to get into an established apartment mm -hmm. for an exorbitant right. amount of money you know and i've been looking but mark found some apartments over there the other day but i know i see some apartments but i had to go look i don't know why them guys you know them guys have been out here for like two or three months two months who without taking a shower the two old men that were sitting up there with me that oh day, i don't know about afraid. whether they, they shower or not they're afraid if they go to greater work, somebody's going to steal their wallet. I said, it goes in the bathroom with you. All I got to do is y'all two go in there. It, it's two stalls. 
like the girl there ain't enough of women that take showers there anyway so we don't ever have to double up I mean someone might come get in the shower as one of us is getting out or something like that you know but um I don't my, I leave my purse sitting on them tables and everything but if Mark's putting in all this work to repair the place that you're going to be hopefully moving to and all that needed was the $155 power $156 power you know Piece, uh, yeah well it's the fuse box right here's Tyler Street well, all the way down well all the way is quite a ways yeah um, well I think there is a uh, fuse box up top where we are um, and then check it and see what but you're not going to be there. Yeah. I, There's I, no I, sense in even talking about that because that's not going to be approved for your kids. But that, You need it. to relocate 100 feet away to the new place mm -hmm. that has the flooring redone. And it's going to have plumbing. It's going to have a bathroom, have bedrooms. You know. You've got to have that electrical checked. Well, that place don't have a, a, fuse, box, a fuse box here, so there's a fuse box up the top. I can get that put it in. And yeah, I mean, it's not its not going to be something done that's completely done, but if I see enough of where the it's other close. party is working on it every yeah. day, like this one behind us, it's right there. Um, Every day. What's it, right there? The storage unit. Well, so the sign yeah. that says now leasing. No, Sorry. I don't see a sign that says storage. No, it says now leasing. Well, okay. <laughs> You guys, know you guys know this area know very well. I didn't know it was yeah. a storage until after it was rented either. Now leasing. Yeah, just right here. In there. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this is where we got to go to get some mm -hmm. clean clothes because you miss laundry time. I, I can do it in the morning too. And how much is this? Fifty bucks a month. Like fifty-five, sixty dollars a month. Yep. Okay. Is there a way that you can just bring your stuff to your place now because that whole floor area is open? Um, and save the 50, 60 bucks. No, it's already paid for. Yeah, for this month. This month and next month. Okay. I, I pay it I, I pay it two months at a time. Okay. Just because, but right. I can't get, a, I, there's a couch in there. I don't know what's in the back. My washer and dryer's in there. Mm. Oh yeah, it's not like you could just bring that with you. Uh -uh. <laughs> no. But All right, just, I got you. No, you your you're phone? looking long term, you know, for a, a, an actual full size apartment. You know. Yeah. Okay. Not a problem. All right, let's make um, it happen. How guys. much is how much is on that thing to order? I got to get Mark a couple pairs. You of got forty three dollars in credit. Okay. Yep. Okay. But it's got to be online, so you got to tell me what you want. I thought you wanted a burner to cook food at. Um, I'll figure it out. I'll think about it. And like, well, you were gonna do that yesterday. I forgot he don't have no clothes. Uh, have, has your friend called, texted you lately? Which friend? The one up north. The lady that wrote me my letter. Yeah. That's yeah. the one that sent the money. Oh, okay. I didn't know. Yeah. Well, what I'm getting at is, do you want jeans when you have a place to stay? Yeah, we got to have one for winter anyway. But you're, you're in a place, you know. Yeah, um, I can buy you jeans on on Amazon or you know with that card. Right. It just depends on what you want. Okay. What's your priority? You know, the money you spend on monsters and Dr. Peppers and fast food and stuff and pizzas, you can go to Salvation Army and get clothes. I I'd, I'd just soon go to the Salvation Army. All right. So I thought you were getting a change of clothes. You don't have me. What's that? A couple things in the Wait. This. Women. 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 Well, let's, uh, wow, you've got the full equipment here. Okay. All right, well, we still carry on. Oh, oh my God.
Okay. Something that I don't even know what it is because it went. Fairly. All right, just let me ask you this. Yes, right. When you said you were going to get clothes and you brought a full apartment's worth. Yeah, I don't know what's in some of that. But you, you stocked it, you put it in there, but now you've got, oh, James here, or I'm, Mark, I've called you that 10 times. Mark, you, you're up, you can't even see your feet. Uh, yeah, and the entire back is completely 100% packed. You said you were needed to get clothes, and you already had told me just not, you know, half hour ago that this was going to be a temporary thing, and you're not looking to stay. Some of that, it's going in the garbage. I don't know what it is. Some of that's food. So. Okay. Well, something's not closed. Rear access. Oh, I know what this is. This is very important. The defect is paperwork. I have to ask. What's all these bags? I have no clue. Okay, so you grabbed half the stuff that you have, you have no idea what it is. It's not that, I, I don't know what it is. It come from hotel room and then you got shoved in there. And then when we went to the next one, we just went in and picked what we needed. And then got thrown back in there. So I don't know what's in, in each individual bag. Did you feel that this was the only trip you were ever going to make again no, for a storage unit? but I need to go through this anyway. Hey, McDonald's with me. Go to the McDonald's over there for a job interview. You got a job interview set up? I'm fixing to set it up. It'll have to be Thursday. Tuesday or Thursday. Well, if you're not going to see your kids, how are you going to get there? Walk. You're going to walk to Milledgeville? No, no, no. Oh, no, I'm not. I'm waiting on transportation. Okay. Trans well, in the meantime, you can go to an interview. No, that's what I'm saying. It has to be, in case they do have it set up for Wednesday, it has to be tomorrow or Thursday. And Thursday, i got to go meet that lady um, that rescheduled the other day because I was moving. Friday. No, Friday I'm going to do that other evaluation if I have to walk. I'll leave the house at 3 a.m. To the happens. library. No, that one's Thursday. Friday is the mental evaluation. At the crazy house. They need me to go to Looney then. Okay. You just threw me for a loop when you said you're going to get a change of clothes. And I'm yet, sorry, I just grabbed stuff because I didn't know what was in I couldn't go but in there. But you have limited space as it is and you're going to be moving. Because this, where you're at now, isn't suitable for you to get your kids. Right. But yet you've got hundreds of pounds of stuff. Some of it's just thrown in bags that I don't know. I couldn't walk in there and grab three days worth of clothes. Well, why did you have to get them today? If they're in storage, they're in storage. I'm just, it, it, it doesn't matter one way or the other. I'm just going to round a gas, so I'm going to have to drop you guys off. Um, there's some money on my car. No, don't worry about it. Take the money. Don't buy any more Monsters and Dr. Peppers and I fast food. Don't buy my... Okay. What would you guys eat yesterday? Sandwiches. From? From bread, meat, sandwiches. Ham sandwiches out the cooler. Fred sandwiches? Bread sandwiches out the cooler. Oh. Yeah, food I had food stamps. Okay. I'm not gonna get <laughs> Oh, I'm just asking. It's like, you know, how many monsters a day do you think you drink? Uh, about four. About four, that's ten bucks. Uh, you know, four. that's three hundred bucks a month. I'm just saying, you know. Well, no, I get tons of comments from people that are like, you know, and you said, had said earlier that you're spending, you had spent $1,700 on a month's rent. It's like, my goodness. Yeah, but it got us up out of a hotel room. But by the time you pay your electric and all that, that was included, thank God, but... He, I had to pay extra for my uh, washer and dryer to be there because it ran up the light bill. It doesn't run it up that much. 
I had a four bedroom apartment. My light bill went but three, uh, less than two hundred and fifty dollars a month every month. Okay. But you don't get a check. No. He does. He does. Okay. That's why he can't be working, so to speak, on the books. He can work so many hours. What yeah. Is it, 27. I have it wrote down. 20. About 30 hours. Under 30 hours. Okay. I mean, the reason I ask is because it's all about managing your funds. You know, it's not like I'm telling you guys anything you don't know in that regard. But what I'm trying to say is, it's like, my goodness, there's got to be a better way. There just has to be. You know, I just happened to come across, you know, Charles here that had that place. And you guys may or may not have had your differences in the past or people that in your circle of, you know, people that you each know and this and that, you know, it's none of my business. But what I'm trying to get at is, you know, like you said, you got shelter, you know, et cetera, et cetera. That's time for jobs and up and out of there, big stepping stone. Right. Nothing wrong with that. Okay. Well, it's the middle of the day, and here we are. You know, it looks like he might need some help. There's all kinds of furniture. It looks like somebody's moving in. Oh, no, that's that guy that... Well, there was a guy standing here earlier that was trying to... Work on a bicycle? I don't know what he was doing. He's getting in my business. Yeah. I've met him before. Yeah, he's the guy that stays in that other house. He's the guy we ran off to, though. Yeah, uh -huh. Charlie. Yeah, Charlie says he's six of you ran off, dude. Okay, well, if you at least want to take the stuff off the ground before I completely run the gas and you know, set I'm it doing. on the ground and then move it in at your leisure, you know, that'd be great. Thank you very much. I didn't mean to make you run out of gas. No, it's that's no problem. It's just I thought we were just getting some clothes. Yeah. Uh, that's all right. Well, as you open the door, everything's going to fall out. Yep. And there it is. You can leave with me, man. Will, will you take care of my baby? Yeah, of course I will. You be a good boy, okay? I'll bring him home. He's kind of leaking at the mouth there. Let me see his, his chops. Well, I don't think he wants to agree with that. Look. Let me see. Uh, we need to take him on to the vet. Yeah, he's uh, he's got an infection or something. I don't have any. Let me look for a paper towel or something. He's dripping yellow something, some kind of pus. And uh, I'm sure my friends didn't sign up for this. Their dog is deathly ill, and we're at the Dalton Animal Care. I'm gonna walk in and find out what the status is. 